Hi guys, Lee here with your market update for the 6th of August, back from holiday, family summer holiday in Greece. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, it was gorgeous, the weather was fantastic, the time spent with the kids and family was fantastic. Swimming in the sea, swimming with the fish, swimming with everything, it was just a lovely relaxing holiday. Okay, so what about the trading? Um, I think we've got a lot to get through here. Um, and a few trades I took on holiday. Take a look at the Dow trade, banked um, 1600 on the Dow. And, and there was a dollar yen trade as well taken. Um, take a look at that one as well. That was a couple of grand, which was which was nice. Basically, I love trading from from <laughs> from summer holidays. Last year, I managed to bank about three grand while sitting around the pool. And this year. Um, we did all right again, you know, another three and a half grand uh, and a euro trade sitting around the pool on the iPhone trading, um, which was fun. So what about, and I'm really just trying to catch this move down on the Dow. We were looking for this move. We had double trend predictor right at the highs here. Um, we had two red arrows saying that we could come on down. We had two red arrows and we had three wave short. Okay, so that was always going to give us a bit of a, you know, if the volatility kicked here in here on the Dow, it was always a potential for a much bigger move. I didn't get all this move at all. Um, with being on holiday, you don't catch it all, all the time. Um, but managed to get some of the move. Um, and then today, I'll show you the FTSE trade uh, that we did in one second. So we managed to bank a grand on that. Um, after one losing trade, then a, a winning trade. But we'll take a look at that in one second. Um, so where are we going here? Now we've got a big sell-off. We've got the red PTS, trend predictor short. No brainer, that is a sell signal. Entry one, okay, here. Target or trail stop at 26.262. That just went straight through that, which was brilliant. And then we came into the next target here, 25.296. Got down to, uh, nearly got down to 25,000. Okay, so what's happening here? What can we, you know, what can we take from this? What's the next move in the Dow? Well, we're getting this um, rally uh, today, which is good. Now, there was potential last night for a collapse. It didn't happen. So for me, this is an orderly sell off. And this next pullback in here, it's still red on the PTS. So we can only be bearish this market. So I'll be looking to see if we start to climb up into these areas here, 26,000, 26,250, that we rotate and go for that next leg down. All right, so looking for that next leg. Uh, this is an important area on the Dow, this little rally into rotation down. Now, what will rule that out in the Dow? That What will rule that out is quite easy if we turn green. And what tends to happen if it does want to turn green, that we do V pivots. Look at these v, v pivots. It looks like a V, comes red all the way down, turns green and goes straight back up. It's a V. We got one here, red sell off, V pivot all the way back up. So if it turns green, that's a buy signal. Now we've got the same thing here again. We're in that situation. We're red, red, red down short. If it turns green up here, that's another V pivot for a long trade. But if, if we rotate from these areas, 26,000, 26,250, turn around and go back, it's turning dark red at the moment, means it's an up day. If we start to see light red, that's another round of shorts, guys. Now, the thing that's telling us, if we look at the weekly on the Dow, what's telling us here is that we've got weekly pro trading system short signals. It is only Tuesday, but we get weeks, several weeks of down. I mean, that was just a two, three week move down. Now we're getting more reds. Okay, so that 27,000, just above 27,000 is key here, guys. We're getting red PTS. Now by Friday, if we close red, then we're gonna get more downside, all right? And I'm, I'm looking for more downside in the Dow. And that's how I'm plan, playing the Dow. This impulsive move down, we're getting this corrective retracement here. I'm looking to see where that wants to end up and rotate and push lower. Uh, German DAX, same as guys. Now, the German DAX, something a little bit more interesting here, which is setting up. 
Um, I've got an area of 11,2824 for a potential um, area to start shorting into again. Now with the DAX, now we know from the work we do in the ProTrader program here at Trading College um, that we know that a wave two into a wave three, which is a big move, tends to reverse at 76.4%. So let's just take a look at the DAX. If we take our FIB retracement tool from the high, drop it down to this low area here, take a look to the right at 76.4%, or the DAX reversed at 76.4%. So the way we like to work with Elliott Wave, and, and believe me, Elliott Wave can be so confusing and we don't want to confuse it. And I don't confuse it. We don't confuse it here on the ProTrader program. But if we label this as a one down, and then this is a two, it meets the criteria because that's 76.4%. So this is a wave three for us. So this means the move's not over and we've got more downside, so one, two, three. So this might be a wave four pullback that's happening, and then we go into a wave five. Then this is how perfect the Elliott wave scenario theory and the PTS work so well together. Okay, so 11,023 is on the cards. That's a 700 point move. All right, so watching this little retracement for more selling in the days to come. If it turns green, that's a buy signal. Looking at gold, and we've got to talk about Bitcoin as well because that is that is very much in focus. Gold, um, you know, you never fight the pro trend system and gold. Okay, lovely buy signal, trend predictor long, buy signal, trend predictor long, trend predictor short there, trend predictor short. Both of those made nice money, and now we got you know we've got this looks like with this triangle formation. And it looks like we're going for a wave five. I've got 1505, 1505 target on gold. We may get there in the coming days, all right? So it very much looks like we're going into a wave five. So I would, you know, we've got some waves going on here. So we're breaking high out with lower momentum. It's all about trailing that stop, getting it tighter, targeting that 1505, but making sure when you see that, you want to get that stop much tighter. All right, so watching that as well. And then we'll look at the FTSE in a moment, but let's look at Bitcoin because we are you know, doing some good things here with the cryptos. Bitcoin here, um, nice move. Let's get rid of these fibs. Um, I've got a target. First target is 13,371. That comes just shy of this double top area. So nice momentum, nice pro trade system buy at 10.340. Uh, if we can get up to this area, we're looking at a 3,000 point move. And I think beyond that, um, targeting 16.729 on the pro trade system. All right. So all good, all very nice, um, up very nicely on these moves uh, on um, uh, Bitcoin. Looks looks really nice. And then the FTSE's trades this morning. Um, just looking at the FTSE intraday in our live trading room this morning. Just look at this. This was the setup here. Um, straightforward setup. FTSE has been selling off. I mean, you know, that big sell off yesterday. So nice trend predictor short all the way down here. Nice PTS short. Then we got the rally, overnight rally here. And then we got the trend predictor long. Okay, so. This candlestick was the one we took the long side trade on. That's what made the thousand quid um, to the long side. Target was seven, two, three, two. And then it's just a case. I mean, if you've seen the training before on the trend predictor, you get the trend predictor signal. There's the signal on the on the bigger time frame. And you can use this on a four hours, weekly, monthly, same concept. Trend predictor told us that the next candlestick is gonna be an up candlestick. Okay, that's fine. Then you want to go down to the entry. Okay, and here was our entry, the break of the trend line. Pro trend system buy. Nice push up to the upside. And we got about, yeah, 32 was the target, which was nice. Entry in around these areas, which was a nice, uh, about 40 point move, guys. So it was good, okay? So nice move to the upside in um, the FTSE and that was our trade for this morning and that was done by 9.30 so done and dusted 
go and enjoy the golf course I think today if the sun comes out. So if you're interested in these trading strategies, we're going to talk more through these strategies on our Learn to Trade Live event. Our next one is a one-day classroom course. We're going to talk through those strategies. We're going to go into detail of how to trade those strategies. The next event is on the 17th of August. We're 15, we've got 15 places left on this, okay? And there's no doubt about it. People are going to be getting home from holidays, wanting to trade the markets and get into trading. Uh, we've got 15 places left. It's Saturday the 17th of August. It's in London near Waterloo Station. Beautiful hotel there. With a lovely conference room. Your spot is completely free. It is a £50 refundable deposit. Okay. All right. So just book up here and um, you know, you're looking forward. You'll have a great day. I look forward to speaking to you. Um, at the Learn to Trade Live. If you've got any questions, our live chat room is our live chat is here to speak to any of our um, support staff here at Trading College and uh, look forward to um, speaking to you soon. Take care. Bye bye now. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel here, guys. Hit the subscribe button below this video and you will get notifications on the next trading update. update. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care. Hit that subscribe button and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.